Hello YouTube, welcome back to The Witcher 3. We discovered the diagrams that we were looking for. So... Let's go towards the exit. And we... Yeah, we should be able to get out of here. Sad story behind all these diagrams, but... I'm still looking into getting them all crafted, but... As I said, that actually costs quite a bit of money. Let's see, we're probably going to go for this one first. Yeah, let's go for this one. Wandering around to St. Geralt did not neglect his vocation and the true core of its existence, namely pursuing and slaying monsters. Having found a notice on a notice board posted by a merchant guild beset by some beast, the Witcher decided to go to the appointed spot to learn the details of the matter. So we don't know any details yet. All right. And let's see what these guys want. abandoned but a lot of this damage is recent guess I arrived just a little too late should look around still that's a shame is that an armorous table yeah don't need well No. Fifteen minutes of Tony oil left. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Blood of the fresh variety. Monster attack was recent. Check that out in a, in a bit. Been completely collapsed. 
What's going on here? Blood of the fresh variety. Monster attack was recent. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But Yocast's mate passed on, alas. Yocast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Yocast was brooding then. Two eggs that she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Well, even if she had those two eggs, that's not a large enough population. The subspecies is dying out. Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. Hmm, your coffers. Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crones, this unfortunate merchant's family, to be duly indemnified as well. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself, then. 
easy to track with its distinct paw prints, mentioned two merchants, so I might also look for the other corpse. Geralt always liked looking at things that don't exist, be it a vampire with a human heart or the last basilisk of a species that no scholar has classified. Discovering something though thought not to be there to be discovered caused him great pleasure. That is why he took an interest in a contract which at first glance seemed banal, but proved to be a very intriguing. It concerned the last basilisk of the near the extinct species Regulus Platinum. Well, I don't know yet whether I'm gonna kill it, but. Definitely look around though. Strange, these burn marks. Beasts venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Someone told me he, um, I'm not sure who uh, made that review, but someone on YouTube made a review with all the Witcher games and he liked the Witcher one more because you had to slowly find out about the monsters, information about them, and it wasn't just all immediately added to the bestiary. Of course you could re read books about them, but um, yeah, the other games dropped that a little bit. I kind of would have liked... Like this, if uh, I could slowly find out about it and not just read the bestiary entry, you know? Busted barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecos- Poor man. A horrid death, truly. Yeah, yeah, you and your ecosystem. Take it easy. Did I lose the scent? Oh no, there it is. Do this on foot, Roach. A little bit easier. Well, he's coming along. 
Fine then. Maybe you can at least control your beast. Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Sense perceptible again. Ah, uh, crap. Just as I expected, second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later, dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Dear Gaston, I replied to your question regarding the planned transport route for the Barrel of Tannin. Allow me to confirm, the official itinerary support by the guild still goes to the lands belonging to Count de Alvarez. The board sees no reason to deviate from a traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Great White Terror, so even in the case of the destruction of the entire cargo, the guild will suffer no monetary losses. So they knew about it. They knew about it. They absolutely knew about it. Hear something, but it's no basilisk screech. Human voices. Infrared Reavers? Yamo, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off some ways. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny, about to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm a Witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desbrit. New boy, too. Ah, you're that Witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional? Good you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild, we'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it, and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near-extinct subspecies? Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already.
basilisk lives for now, we're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah, no scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but, you made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. And the word once given? Your share, witcher. Ha 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 ha. Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. Godspeed, boys. You spared your cast. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out of this area. That I shall do. Master, you must accept more, be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. Don't need any more. Rather you paid it out to the families of your pet's victims. Noble of you, Master. I shall take the advice to heart. Your cast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. It's an ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your cast could lay new eggs. Perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. Sure, I hope not. Take care. Let him live because, yeah, he is actually taking care of this as a kind of nature preserve. So uh, as long as he actually takes care that nobody wanders in here anymore. These guys had been warned. They were completely aware of the dangers and they sent their men in anyway. So it's kind of on them. You know, if I know I'm on a path, I don't know, to Africa and I know this is the hunting ground of a ferocious pack of lions or something like that and I walk in there anyway, then I don't see it justified to kill the lions. So... Yeah, and I'm not a uh, trophy hunter, so... Oh yeah, rare species of basilisk, Geralt killed it. Nah, that's not what it's about. Would have liked to see it though, but oh well. I like this landscape. Anyhow, let's see what else we can do. I guess we can take care of those last couple of things. And then we have pretty much covered this entire area up here. And I'm probably, no, I actually need to still deal with that. So we'll deal with those. And then we'll probably turn around, maybe deal with that, but swing around and um, pack all these things from the south. Yeah, sounds good. Giddy up. Sorry, I keep bumping my microphone here. There we go. Be adjust that a little bit. 